These people didn't plan to move abroad. These people didn't even plan to move to the western Ukraine. These people didn't plan to die. But they are dying right now. Mariupol is the most frequently mentioned Ukrainian city during this war. This is one of the centers of Ukrainian heavy industry. A giant metallurgical plant Azovstal is located on its territory. Mariupol is also one of the most important ports in Ukraine. Ukrainian products including wheat were exported from here. For more than a month, the city of almost half a million people has been under siege. Despite several stages of evacuation, 150,000 people still remain in the city without water, electricity, food and medicine. Under heavy shelling that has already destroyed 90% of all buildings, the Russian invaders used all types of their weapons. More than 5,000 residents were killed. Volnovakha was one of the small towns on the way to Mariupol for many Ukrainian tourists. Famous bus hub for those who were heading towards the sea. Smiling people, happy bustle along the road. It has been almost two weeks since there is no town of Volnovakha. Kharkiv, the second most populated city in Ukraine. More than 1,400,000 people lived here before the war. This is a major cultural, scientific and industrial center of the country. Heavy engineering, agricultural machinery and electrical appliances were developed here. From the first day of the war, the Russian army has been trying to encircle and capture the city, but the Ukrainian soldiers did not allow this to happen. The city remains under Ukrainian control and has communication with other regions. Every day Kharkiv is under massive rocket and artillery shelling. Over 4,500 civilian buildings have been destroyed. Chernihiv it is located in the north of the country and has a population of about 300,000 people. It was a cozy and picturesque city with many churches, parks and museums. Today some quarters of Chernihiv turned into ruins by the Russian world. These quarters are unsuitable for life for now. After Russian authorities declared shell and reduction on the peace talk in Turkey, their army started bombing Chernihiv almost non-stop. The Ukrainian capital, Kyiv, also experiences regular rocket attacks. Many houses are damaged, but the city continues to live and fight. The satellite cities of the Ukrainian capital, Bucha and Nerpin, feel much worse. From the first day of Russian aggression, they were under fire and then occupied by invaders. Recently, the armed forces of Ukraine were able to liberate Irpin from the occupiers. Ukrainian cameraman Yuri Gruzino went there and filmed what was left of the city. There is still no data on how many people are missing or killed there. Russia's brutal and unprovoked military aggression against Ukraine has forced more than 10 million Ukrainians to leave their homes. 3.5 million left the country.